All right, hey guys, Sam here with you on uh, Friday, you know, we're kind of early afternoon, October 5th here, and I just thought I would share something with you here. This is something we we were working through in the day trading room. Now, so I, I show you this for a couple of reasons. One, so of course, crypto is just, it's just flatlining, right? There's just nothing, Bitcoin's going nowhere but sideways. So, you know, we, we have a lot of members that have come to our, our uh, Discord and to our, our learning environment. We call it a university because they're interested in crypto. Maybe that was their first exposure to the market. And then, I you know, I, as I am quick to tell people, oh, I mean, I've only been trading crypto for uh, 18 months, but I've been trading for over 20 years. So I, I, a chart is a chart. I don't, it doesn't really matter to me what's underneath. So a lot of times I will encourage people to take whatever skills they're developing here with us as we teach them this combination of algorithmic trading, market geometry, and, and Elliott Wave, that you know you, you want to be open to applying it to other markets. So in, in that spirit, we have a pretty active traditional day trading room or channel, I guess you would call it, within Discord. So we, and we focus 90% uh, on the S&P. And we do that because it trades very, very technically. So I just thought I would show you a couple of examples because we have not only did we have a particularly good day, I had members had a very successful day today. And I'm going to show you why. It's, again, it's, it's not difficult, but you have to understand the way these algorithms work. So this is a very good example about what happens when an algorithm flips, right? As I will often talk about, oh, algos flipped. Well, let me, let me show you what that looks like here. So here, this is the 15 minute. Now, algos live on the 15 minute. They, they love this. So if we look here, so we, we have this, we had this series of higher highs, right? Higher highs. And then, and then we fail here. We fail to get a higher high. Well, if we just work through these, and I, I think I've shown this not, not too long ago, but if we just work from Swing low to swing high. What do we do? Right to the golden zone. Okay, so we, we get this. And of course, that gets target here actually gets just shy of second target, right? So rarely will it go beyond beyond the 618 without some reaction. So the algos that bought here, well, they started buying at the 50. They defend all the way to the 65, but this is their target. So they get paid. You, and you can see that it's such a good example here. I try and encourage people to recognize this. You, most people, particularly new traders, they learn that, oh, well, I got to put my stop just underneath the 618. All right, if it goes below that, well, it trades wrong. Well, this it's just not, that's not the way the algorithms, algorithms work it. They, because, be, because, you could think it's just common sense, right? So because everybody knows there are going to be stops on, this, on the other side of the 618, you'll, you'll see this golden zone action so often. I, I've shown it, I God knows how many hundreds of times, where it'll break the 618, it'll go just in that little golden zone. Here we actually get a tag of the 65, but note, note how it holds it. Yeah, you see, you've got, you can be a tick on the other side of the 65. I'd probably be two, maybe three ticks on the other side of it, depending on the size. But you've got to give that a little bit of room. You, you, just, you just have to. You cannot put your stop on the other side of the 618. So, but, but just carrying this forward. So we know this is a technical pivot. Okay, so next, next thing in the process. So we go from here to here. All right, what do we, now this is interesting. Let me get that right on there. All right, so look what happens here. So from this swing that we know was important to the market, so we had a perfectly technical pivot. Up we go, right? So tall, this algo hits those targets. Algo, so we we'll come back. Six one eight, six one eight, six one eight. Holds it, holds it. Gets a tick through, gets a tick through. But it, it, the, the golden zone essentially holds the market. Now we don't reach target here, right? So this this target is up here. We don't reach it, and then eventually we fall, we fall over. So if you think about what the algorithms did, so let me just show you this. So this algorithm here, whether if they started here, they're continuing to defend most likely. That's the target, right? So when we fail here, well, there was a bit of a tell in the process because we had this come in here from this swing low, which we know was technical, we get the first break of the six one, uh, pardon me, of the 65 here. So this is a bit of a tell that the market is not as strong as we would want it to be given that break. So that's the first hint of weakness. Now we did have some others here coming back the other side. So we see here, we don't quite, we don't make target 618 to the tick. So note, note what we have, have down here. All right, so we go just, just we get just through the target, just enough to get to that six one eight. So any any algos that are con, that are adding here, are continuing to buy here, 
right? And they, again, so they buy here, having taken profit there. But again, these guys don't make their profit. They don't make their profit target. So let me, let me show you this. Now, when they're flipping, here, here's what happens. So as soon as, as soon as this breaks, here, so coming in here, as soon as we break this, yeah, so this confirms. As soon as we break, now, now they're going to pull from the opposite direction. All right, so coming in this morning, this is what this looks like. So we come, we get the big sell-off. So it starts, starts yesterday. We get the big sell-off. Now I'm going all the way to the swing low. All right, so you see this here? So they come in and we get it right here. It's a two-tick front run right to the Vegas wave. You got everything set up there. We come just a couple of ticks, right? You don't want your entry right on the 50. You want to be two, three ticks in front of it. And what do we get? All right, right right to, I mean damn near to the tick so when you're when you're looking at this and you're going why does it stop there right if you don't know about that target you're 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 back pulling going shit man what what well we're through the 618 where where you're looking for a pivot that that they might have used and you know I had to go all the way to the hourly to find something that would make sense so we look there and we think okay what are they using right cuz you you don't know until you see the reaction at the target so we started looking saying could this be it well, this was a slight front run on the 50, maybe. Maybe we go all the way, and then we look here. And what do we get? We get perfect confluence here. So from this swing low, right, so look, look at this little, just a little pocket here where we get just far enough so they can, from this swing, right, we, and we don't need, it's a constant test because it's at one point we were using this, right, but that, that broke, so you go back one. If that had broke, if that had been broken, we'd have gone back again and then back again. You're looking for, it's a constant process. What did they use last? What did they use last? It would appear that they used this, right? So given that confluence. So when you're looking at that going, why does it stop there? Well, the answer is in the 15 minute on the short side. Here's why, right? Here's the why, right? Here, here's two ticks in front of it, straight down to target. Then look at the reaction. It's the reaction that's the tell, right? So let me, let me pull this off. So it's still, we still have a, a technical pivot down here. So now we look at that and think, hmm. Okay, let me open this up so we can see it. Bear with me a sec here. Okay, so now we're looking at that going, huh, well, why does it stop here? Well, again, it's, it's, it's not difficult. It's not difficult to understand, right? That's uh, my, right on that. Here we go. So what do they do? It's, it's to the 50 to the tick. Now, the other thing that I, we, 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 we were talking about in the room, the, the S&P likes 20-point swings. This is actually from the tick. It's 21. So you look at that and say, hmm, I know they, I know they like 20, but they get exactly 21 off the low to get to tag the 50. So that continues to be the dominant force in the market until we get to this target. Right, so now if this comes up, if we now if we go back up and we break this 65, then we change again. If we were to break that 65, so let's say that 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 happens Monday morning, we break that 65. Well, then you're just doing the exact same thing from the other side. Well, here as we sit here coming in as we finish the day, looks like that might mm, uh, might that that's a little bit that's a little. Mm. Well, so first, I would tell you that trading in the last half an hour of the day as we sit here, last half an hour day on a Friday, bad idea. But that you know, could be that we, we had a little front run there as the market is trying to work its way back to VWAP. But the, the, the bigger point here is I'm trying to show you this is when, when they reverse, you do the exact same thing. You trade them until they fail. Now, this would, so I would leave this as it is here. Well, I'm not quite right on there. As this is here, at, at coming in Monday morning, so that's that's the dominant that's the dominant pivot. Now we may we may get a pushback. It may go up and challenge the six one eight. There's just no way to know until we see what time is. Yeah, we're. Oh, oh, it looks like we've got another fifteen minutes. So this may come back. They're trying to get back to VWAP. That's that's how the market will typically, if it's been down all day, they'll work to get it back to VWAP. VWAP is sitting right here at about 95 and 95.75, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on. Yeah. I'll go to another machine. Hang on one second. Yeah, so our VWAP is 94, 94.75. 94.75 right here, just above it. 
All right, so they may, that's likely where they'll want to finish the week right at VWAP after this big sell off. But you can see this thing is just screaming down. And the first question always, but people, you've got to look at that and go, why does it stop there? Why does it stop there? That's why. All right, there's the 50, there's the target. And here's how we know it was an algorithm. It's, it's, it's not this, it's this. It's the reaction at target. So again, I just I make the point of showing that so that you guys know this algorithm, it, it, again, it's, it's the one algorithm we can identify and it's in every market. So if you're, again, as I've said many times, if you're banging your head against the wall in crypto and you just like, oh, man, it's just not happening. You know, I only want to be a buyer. You know, maybe that's the case. You know, I prefer to be a buyer in crypto rather than a seller. I just find it to be a pain in the ass. One thing I tell you in futures or FX, just as easy to be long as short, right? You don't have to borrow anything. It's just posting margin. Now, so for day trading in the S&P, there are many brokers that will let you day trade with 500 per contract. All right, so you don't need a $20,000 account to get in here and participate here. All right, I have a lot of members that's, that came to us because of an interest in crypto, but once they understood the way we teach it to you, once you understand how to work with these in the context of, again, that, that trio of pattern, Elliott Wave pattern, the algo pull, and the market geometry, the underlying market, it does not matter. They all trade exactly the same way. So I, I just encourage you to not, not, you know, not be such a crypto purist that you're not open to trading other markets. I mean, ultimately, if the objective is to make money, why do you care? What, what, what do you want? You want you want liquidity. You want tight spreads. You want good fills. You want the you want to know, or have confidence that if you put a stop in the market, that that stop is going to get filled. Not always the case in crypto. So I mean, these you know, S and P incredibly technical, and that's why we have a dedicated channel just to that. That's all we do, right? And, and you know, you don't you don't have to babysit this all day long, right? These these are fairly good. I mean, that we we waited for this one, all, you know, for it's a good long wait for it, just like this as that was going down. Where's the where's it going, right? How, otherwise, how do you know? Right? You just you know, it looks like it's been far enough. Right, that that's the tell. That's the tell. All right, guys, I just thought I would uh, offer that up here as it was a good day for us uh, in the S and P day trading room. But again, it's not it's not that it was some bizarre, weird algorithm that we've uncovered. This is as basic as it gets. Swing high, swing low, sell the fifty. Swing high, swing swing low, swing high, buy the fifty. Stop on the other side of the sixty five. It's just not that hard. Now, what? So it doesn't mean that, that, that you're not going to run into the challenges of money management and risk control and the appropriate amount of size and you know where to be in, where to be out. There, there's a lot more to trading than just understanding the setup. It's, I, I don't want you to get the, the impression that I'm saying it's easy to make money. It is not easy to make money. But this is how the market moves. This, at least as we sit here and it's been this way for a long time, until this algorithm is, is changed, which is unlikely because it's so profitable for those that employ it. All we're trying to do is identify it. Can we get in behind it? What did it do last? Right, then it's, then you, you just, you trade them till they fail, until a 65 breaks. And then just, just as we saw it on the long side, and then you flip, then you take the dominant pivot, high to low, whatever the case may be, and you draw the next 50 and you take that trade. Now, in this particular case, they did it in the overnight. So they did it at, for me, it was 1.15 in the morning. So I, I, I'm not there to take that trade. But I, sh I sure was there for the rest of them throughout the course of the day. They're just, they're, they're just, they're always there. All right, so again, just the point being, you know, yeah, crypto's going nowhere, but lower to sideways. So why not put your capital to work in other markets? It's the same thing in FX, right? And as a matter of fact, you can take whatever Bitcoin you're holding, you can use that to open an FX account without selling your Bitcoin. Just use it as margin. So there's a lot of ways for you to diversify into other markets until we get crypto rolling. And listen, there's, there's no way to know when that bull gets uh, unchained again. It could be a long wait. There's just no way to know. We'll know it when we see it, but until then, Plenty of opportunity in other markets. All right, guys, I'll wrap it there. Have a good one.